All righty, let's wash this in full first. Haven't seen that for a while. Oh, there's some knee wobbles there. All right, this gets a bit funky bit in the leg distribution there on the weights. That's cute. Oh boy, something's coming in. Is it? It is. All right. So let's go one by one here. I think at the beginning, I'm not sure you need that camera move. It's a bit fast and it suddenly slows down, which you might argue, well, it sees the character, it slows down, but it's it's either to me, you're gonna slow down the camera, where it's just kind of lingering and, and traveling over the surface, or it's kind of looking at, you know, kind of like an established type of thing. And the moment she comes in, you might potentially tilt up to see her. And then as she, fly, as she flies down here, we tilt back into what you have around here. Or you just keep it completely still. She comes in and then we reframe. Same thing though, maybe a bit higher. Whoops. A bit higher and then go back down. So I'm not super sure you need that. Ooh, there just seems a bit... It's less of a just gradual move to look at what's going on. It feels already very intentional and fairly fast. So I would reduce that and make it slow and fast to get up and then see her. This one, I do like the path. I like how she comes in. I like that little moment of and coming down. That's great. What happens here is that there's something where we want to feel this of a curve. It has a slight feeling of this. Like we're stunting that moment as she comes in and it gets just suddenly a bit flat. A bit too far over with a drift over there. And I feel like then it gets a bit of a pivoty thing in screen space off of the, the forehead a bit here. So watch out for your spacing. I would really finish that curve. Smooth that out a little bit. And speaking of smoothing out, there's some wonky things in her leg and knee. It feels like especially here as you go down, that knee goes down, then it goes back up and then down again. If you just watch that leg, screen right leg in real time. Weep, bop, bop. Little wobbles there, a little pop. Watch out for that. And then this feels really slow as she comes in. Now, there are two things. Either you make this more where she has hang time and it's land like that. Maybe not that fast, but kind of a like this. Or you keep it this low, but that's because as she goes down, the thrusters are now bigger. And it's expanding here and really doing this and all this stuff comes out here. Maybe until here, and then she turns the thrusters off and she goes, and it's up like this. I'm just not reading this just because the thruster has no animation on it. This seems like it's just there for the ride versus maybe up here still a bit straighter. And then you can really see it turning off where it starts to wobble back down and get a bit looser. I just don't feel like there is an animation that indicates on and then off. And that's why this feels a bit slow because the rest of your animation doesn't feel like it's zero gravity i mean like or like lesser gravity or whatever you want to do there because like this is fairly earth gravity style and that's why this feels slow right there then here that felt a bit weird watch out you got some intersections there with some looseness in how the grip is on the hands and then the biggest thing to me is this as you move this this feels very isolated where it's it's almost a post to post how you have hands and legs moving at the same time the head moves first, which is good. But this feels very isolated. Like there's nothing really going on in the hips and nothing really in here. So the, just that move and rotation feels like we need to translate over, put that weight over this leg so that the weight is distributed over this. And then you can move that leg into this position, then move the weight over to get into this. But then she lands and she's in this position. So you have to find a way to make this work where Maybe she has to lean over this leg and we're a bit more like this. The weight is over here. Then she changes the leg into that position and then she can move over. Just like right now, this doesn't quite work. What's also happening is that you have both feet sliding, but there's no weight on either one of them. While we're kind of locked in this position here, how she is, there's no real side to side weight shift. And then this continues. There's a bit of a slide still here. This is not quite locked. And then when she continues to move here, same thing where we're moving over and then suddenly we have both feet moving here. It's like the weight and the... 
weight distribution and like the pivot of either a knee or foot just doesn't quite work for me just yet. And even when she gets up here, let's see. Like she gets up, but then this is moving. So there's not that much weight there. So to me, she would have to get over this side, lean over this for weight distribution, and then she can lean back over there and then back there. So some weight, side to side weight shifting is a bit off. Watch out, this wrist feels a bit broken. It's bent over this way. I'll stabilize that. The gun will be a bit higher. And then actually, let me just see. Okay. Then she gets to this. And then I was a bit confused. Watch out, silhouette-wise, your hand is a bit high. I will bring that a bit lower. Hand here so we understand the structure of the arm. But the confusion to me was, she shoots, like, whoa. Then she has, she has a lot of really fast left-right eye darts that don't feel focused. It's more like... Oh, versus, oh, what's over there? Oh, 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 I see. Where she rests for a moment to understand what's going on. The wheels are turning. And then she's reacting to things. Right now, it just feels like movement, movement, movement. And then she kind of looks up. And then again, a lot of left and right. And then she does this. And she's not really in a hurry. It just feels like, all right, well, let me put the gun down first. Then this. And then it's like, I'm closing my eyes because I'm slightly embarrassed. Or, oh, and then out. So to me, it reads like, she does this, and then this happens to come down. Not like she's evading it. And I was wondering, it's been a while, I, mean, I probably forgot the stuff in there, but my thought was, what if she shoots, and goes, whoa, but instead of looking here, she actually looks at this, so it's clear that it's the gun, and then we see the, the shadow grow, and then she, she goes from a pose like this to... Maybe a bit straighter, arms up, but a clear head move down, almost to a point where we don't see her eyes, so that it leads the audience down, and we have no eyes to look at, so we're focusing on this, and we see the shadow grow. Then she looks back up, so that the audience goes back to her face, but then the thing is, shouldn't she be looking maybe a bit more left-right, just because that thing falls down left-right? I don't know, to me, it feels like it would be, oh, this is growing. Let me look up. Whoa, this is landing. Look it out. That's kind of what it feels like. Where Right now, she doesn't feel like she's actually looking at that thing up there. So it feels more like a casual exit. But if you do have the thing where she looks up and goes, whoa, but looking this way. This thing is coming. Oh, boy. And then she should rush with more overlapping really rushing to put this in do that and then get out and even the gout would almost be the get out would be i still open looking this way she's just really trying to evade that piece meaning that once you are here with legs here you could already have this in frame oh boy hold on this in frame like this so the legs are still here so she just evaded it. I don't know, just a thought. I'm not sure if I'm reading this well. This is nice and bouncy. Maybe a bit too springy. Maybe it could have some moments of we understand the the metal a bit more. And maybe since it's coming left, right, like this, I would have that piece like that angle, like that. And then boom, with that impact, it will go over this way. And then go over this way the way you have it. And then land. And maybe just have some more mechanical moments. It just feels like it's a thing on, on springs. But if that's what you want, it's fine too. Uh, that's just the impression that I have there. And that is that. All right, thanks. All right. There's an email. You can sign up. You can start whenever you want. You can submit whenever you want. You get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.